TGIT. Wait, what? Hey guys, so I'm here to do a What I've Been Melting video with you. Um, this is just a random collection of stuff I've melted over the last, well, ever since the last time I uploaded that video um, of what I've been melting last time. So there's no real rhyme or reason for what is in this area of what I've been melting, but I'm just going to show you real quick what I've been melting. How many times have I said that now? Okay, let's try this again. So I'm just going to show you guys what I've been melting, last time I said that, I promise, um, and then we'll get through this video. So the first things I want to talk about are some rose girls that I've been melting, or that I had melted. New way to say that. Alright, so this first one is Simply Amazing Bakery. Whoa. So I have to say this about Rose Girls. Rose Girls was always one of my favorites, if not my favorite, vendor of wax um, when I first got into it. And I have to tell you why. It's because their stuff is so good and it lasts so long. I have not placed an order from Rose Girls since February. Let's take that back. I've not received an order from Rose Girls since February of 2013. Nope. Nope. 2012. Whoa. 2012. So these are two and a half years old, almost three years old, and they still pack a punch. Like it is so awesome that her wax lasts that long. No, it was February 2013. Okay, totally ignore everything else I've said. 2013 in February is when I received these and they still smell amazing. So this one especially. I think this was like zucchini bread and like pink sugar and maybe um, apple pie maybe. Like I can't remember everything that's in it but it's just one of my favorites. It was really good. This one is Pink Siren Song. Now this is Pink Sugar and Love Spell. Now I will say this, as much as that one's really strong, this one's still really strong on cold sniff but it wasn't as strong on warm you know, on when I was melting it. But that's understandable. It's over, it's almost three years old. So, Ugh, I did it again. It is almost two years old, so, you know, it's bound to lose some of that scent. So, this one is Macintosh Swizzle Sticks. This is a yummy one. I love it. It reminds me of Cider Lane. Just give me a moment, okay? Okay, so, it reminds me of Cider Lane. It is so good. Um, I really wish I had more of this. I would love more of their apple scents. Now, I have not been placing wax orders... Good Lord, I don't think I've placed a wax order in over two months. And that's because I'm trying really hard to stick to a budget for Christmas and my son's birthday. But then, once the New Year hits, it is all fair in love and war. So, I'm hoping that I can order, place some orders. And I'm hoping that I will be able to time it right to get some Rose Girls. Now, I've not been in the group in forever. So, I don't know if they've already announced when they're opening again. And if they have, this could be old news to you guys. Or you may already know and be like, huh? she's out of the loop but I will go check and see if they've announced that yet and if so then I'm going to start planning um planning accordingly because I really want to get some more of their stuff because if their stuff lasts me this long because I still have like six other bags I have at least one or two chunks in them so I'm like come on now I love rose girls gotta have some more all right so the next things I want to talk about is some vintage chic scents I don't remember what all I have here but we're gonna we're gonna go for it Okay, so, oh yeah, I do, yeah, I do. Let's see, the great pumpkin, I know I have another one too. Where did it go? Oh, let's take that back. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is the great pumpkin. I don't remember when exactly I melted this, but I knew I had like a half a leaf left, and it smells really good. It's a really light pumpkin. Like, I don't feel like it's as in your face as some of the other pumpkins I've had that I really liked from, excuse me, from other vendors. But it was good still. I liked it. The other one I melted, or another one I melted was the Sanderson Sisters. This one was really yummy. I did really like this one. But, yet again, it was lighter on the throw. I don't know if it's because it's it can be because it's old, because it's only like not, it's about two months old, I think, a little around there. So, I mean, it's done with cure time, so it should smell, I felt like it should have been a little stronger and it wasn't, so that was kind of disappointing, but it was still, it was good when I could smell it. The next one I melted from her, or from Richard Seek Sense, was Swirl, which this one I was impressed with because the first couple times, mmm, so good. The first couple times I had melted it, I didn't feel like I was getting as good of a throw from it as I'd wanted to, but this time it was phenomenal. So that one I know for sure is over two months old, 
So I was really happy with the result from that one and I felt like that one lit, lit up. That one let more scent into the room than the Sanderson sisters did. Okay, so a few clamshells I have here. Let's see y'all. Okay, so I melted fresh pumpkin rolls from Better Homes and Gardens, which was really good. I like this one. I would I would buy it again because it is one of my more favorite pumpkin scents. And then I also melted this one. It's a dual sense from Sensationals. It's pumpkin sugar cookies and cinnamon pumpkin. This one was good too. It just, I had to put more into the bowl than I wanted to. So like to get a really good, and if you can tell like because they're dual you get, you get five littler cubes instead of the three big cubes. So I think that's probably why. I guess it kind of evens out. But I feel like I went through this faster than I do of a normal clamshell. So anyway, I put I put three of each in my 20 watt warmer. Got great throw and it was really yummy. I think I did those on the same day because I was really feeling some pumpkin. And I sure got what I was feeling. Alright, so the next one. I raved about it in my last video and I had to do more of it. I mean, honestly, I may even do it more again today. Oh, it just smells so good. Is It was a chunk of everything but her, it's hard to read, everything but her kitchen sink from Sassy Girl Aroma. One of my top scents ever from any vendor. I just absolutely love it. Um, I have like three quarters of a loaf left of that, but I still want to get a Danish tray in it and just a whole bunch of things in it just because it's so good. Alright, so I have some Avas here. I have some I don't have much more, so I'll try to finish this up quickly. So this one is hard to read, but it was chocolate chip mint from Sniff My Tarts. Now this was old, so I understood if it didn't have a lot of scent to it, but it actually did have some scent to it, which is really cool. It was two years old. I got that in actually November um, of... 2012 so it's been two years for that for sure I know for sure um, but it, it scented nicely I really liked it I melted that the same day I melted this from Better Homes and Garden which is chocolate peppermint truffle I was really in a minty like wintry mood because I was decorating for Christmas getting the tree up and everything so that one they went really well together I feel like they when they blended um, between the kitchen and the living room it really helped to make that scent really come alive in all the rooms so Alright, so my next thing that I melted was from Shay's Scents, and it's my favorite thing from Shay's, Shay's Scents, let's try that again, Pink Vanilla Berry Cobbler, and I can still smell it on the wrapper, it smells so good. I'm sad that it's gone because that's my favorite, and I don't know when I'll get to make another Shay's Scents order, so I definitely will have that in, like, truckloads when I can't order from them, because it's just such a good combination of all those scents. I love the, you can pick up the berry the berry cobbler, like the bakery scent with that. The pink sugar is nice. The vanilla is a real like light tone that kind of just creams everything out and it's not real dominant in the front of what the scent is, but it was still really good. So I love it. Okay, so the last things here, it looks like they're all Ava's. So hopefully I can go through these things really quick. So this first one here is Goodnight Kisses. And you guys probably remember me talking about this one. It's lavender and marshmallow, I believe is what it was, or maybe it was lavender and vanilla. I can't remember. Um, anyway, I put that in my bathroom and it was phenomenal. It was so good. I have one more um, sample of that and I'm not going to melt it until I can get more of it because I want to have that one on hand for my bathroom because my husband really liked that one. It's To me, it's a sweeter, more bakery lavender, which is the only way I like lavender, but he liked it enough because he could smell the freshness of it. So he really liked that it smelled like lavender versus apple pie in the bathroom for once. So I'm trying to accommodate him more when it comes to what, because if he says something and puts his opinion in on wax, then I know it's important because he doesn't ever do that. So that was a good one. All right, the next one I have here is apple pumpkin pie, which apple and pumpkin to me is just one of those combinations you can't go wrong with. It's just that good. Now this was more dominant on the apple pie and a little, just a touch spicy, but not too much to where it hurt my head. That was very good. I really enjoyed that one. <clears throat> okay, so this next one here. Oh, I gotta tell you guys about that last. It's just too good. All right, so this one is Marshmallow Twinkie Noel. And I had a donut. I just did a donut of this, and I think it was because... Nope, I just did it by itself, I think. Um, so I did that by itself because I wanted just a plain bakery scent 
to go with something else I was melting that day, which I'll show you in a second. And it was really good. Like, I feel like this one is good on its own if you have two. Like, I feel like I needed to have two in there, otherwise I wasn't going to get enough scent. Um, or it's probably going to be really good for blending, too. So I really like this one, and I am glad to have more on hand for that kind of thing. The next one I have here is Blueberry Pumpkin Cream Cake. This one is so good. It's one of my favorites. I love blueberry and pumpkin together, and I like it especially when the blueberry is down it because I feel like the sweetness of that blueberry really tones down the what could be a spicy pumpkin. Mm, it's so good. And then that cream cake just brings a really fluffy bakery note to it that just makes it all come together in this amazing scent. All right, so the next one here is pumpkin cinnamon rolls. That one was really good too. Probably one of my favorite pumpkin scents from Ava's because it just was so yummy. Like, I felt like um, my kids asked me if I was baking that day when I started it. And I'm like, no, not yet. Um, but it was really good, and I really enjoyed it. Um, so I think I would like to get some more of those, maybe to mount on, like, Christmas morning or something. I feel like that would be a really good scent to have going for that. So the last things I want to talk about are still Ava's, but it's something I concocted on my own and put together, and it blew my mind. Now, y'all know I love Autumn Kissed Apples. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's so good. On its own, it's amazing. Like, I would melt that by itself all the time. But I took the next step further, next level up right here, and I did Toasted Caramel Marshmallow with it. So the caramel blended with that apple... It just was so good because it taste, tasted, I didn't eat it, I promise. It smelled like a Cider Lane kind of thing, but with the toasted note to it, like it gave it something extra, and then the marshmallow on top of it, it just, all of it together was so good. I think that day was probably one of my favorite days of melting, just because it was such a good combination of things. So I really enjoyed that, and I have more of both, I have a lot of Autumn Kissed Apples, but I think I have a little bit more of the Toasted Caramel Marshmallow that I want to do that again someday because it was just so good. So anyway guys, that is everything I've been melting. It hasn't been, it's not a lot. Um, there have been days where I have not been home to melt, but then there's also been days where I've been lighting candles, which... Now that I say that, I should talk about this. So I've been lighting this candle a lot in the last couple days. And this is Tis the Season from Bath and Body Works. So the description for this says, Deep green pine, rich red apples, and a touch of golden cider blend to create a timeless and heartwarming holiday scent. Now I don't really pick up pine too much. I pick up mostly the apple and cider, which is why I like it so much. Um, I haven't been getting a good throw from this one. I don't know if it's because it's one of the first, like it was, this is like the first version of this that came out. And I know they've like redone it like once or twice already. So I haven't been getting a great throw from it, but it's still good and yummy. My husband actually liked it. He doesn't ever read, yeah, you can tell it's old because it says $20 for the price tag. They haven't been $20 in like two years. So, um, but my husband doesn't like apple. And he didn't read the description of it, so he didn't know. But he said that he liked that one versus my Twisted Peppermint, which I've been melting as, as I want to start melting soon. So, yeah, that is everything I've been melting. Let me know what you guys have been melting. Um, feel free to post the link to your video down below if you guys, or tell me your channel, if you guys have a wax channel and you've been posting about that stuff. I would love to check it out. Um... I have really just been minimalizing like how much I melt, which I shouldn't be doing. I should be blowing through it like crazy because I have so much wax I need to get through. Um, but yeah, this is the stuff I've been really enjoying. I haven't worn it. Let's try that again. I haven't loaded my warmers for the day yet because I have I was working at the church most of the morning. So now I'm deciding what I want to melt. Um, I don't know what I'm going to melt yet. So I will be that'll be in the next video of what I've been melting. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down below. I'll get back to you when I can, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!